You know, we've heard the saying, no test, no testimony. That there are things in life that we look at, that, that we think they happen to us, but literally they happen for us. That they help us to build character and to build faith and to build strength and discover parts of ourselves that we don't know now. A, a horse, a, a, a person who rides a horse cannot learn good horsemanship by riding a tame horse. You, you can't fix lemonade with sugar alone. The, the heart of the battle, the sweet of the victory. Life is full of, as Victor Frankl would say, unavoidable suffering. But even in the suffering, we discover some things about us. So you set a goal or vision for yourself. You know where you want to get to. You got a got a good idea. And you own your way to going there. Listen to me. When it gets hard, and it is going to get hard. When it gets difficult, and it is going to get difficult. When it becomes challenging, and it is going to become challenging. When it becomes all three of those things. When it don't look like it's going to happen. Don't stop and complain so much. But see, I know he done blessed me, but in the middle of it, man, I, I, I felt a little heavy. And you got to be careful when it get hard for you because you'll find yourself complaining. And when you complain and see, what you can't do is you can't complain so much that you forget that the place that you're trying to go to, you actually on your way there still. See, don't get caught up in the complaining and then lose sight of your blessing that's actually happening to you. What? Really, man? Of, of, of all the times to register a complaint to God, to sit up and go, hey, man, I, 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 didn't, I wanted to ease back into this thing. You ease back in. Man, you in. It's, it's a tornado whirling around you. You ain't got time to ease back in. You got to go on and jump back in it. It is what it is. To whom much is given, much is required. Always appreciate the blessings. Don't get so caught up in the complaints that you lose sight of the blessings, man. God got a lot for you in your life, man. But you got to have them two things, y'all. You got to take that faith. And you got to apply a, a, a crazy work ethic to it. And that creates the most opportunities for God to show you faith. You discipline, you hard work, you focus and drive. And most importantly, that you are responsible for the path you take. Don't waste time with things that don't matter. Get in the game, get in the gym, get to work, get to living. This is your life. Lead it. Lead your life. Lead it how you want to lead it. Every second of every day. Take that leadership of Impose the discipline and the power and the positivity and the will. And use that mind control to move your life where you want it to be. It's the things I always say. Get stronger, faster, smarter, quicker, friendlier, more helpful, more driven. Don't let your mind control you control your mind and once you control your mind then you can set it free <laughs>